Hi, my name is Peter Inella, and today I'll be showing you the new type creation feature in Blast Logic 2.1. Blast Logic can create either a pyrotechnic or electronic tie up. We'll start by creating a pyrotechnic tie up. We first need to define which pyrotechnic products we'll use for this tie up. We can also make composite connectors, which are connectors made up of multiple products between holes. We'll start by linking this row with our composite connector using the row by row tool. But I really don't want to have to connect each row up individually, so I'm going to use the autofill tool to connect the rows up automatically. This copies the row while connecting the column with the single product connector. We'll then just add these additional holes with the connect hole tool. Finally, my initiation point, where the beginning of the blast is from, is actually off the blast a bit, so I'm going to set a dummy hole to represent the point at which the blast is going to start the timing from. And that's it for a pyrotechnic tie-up. We can visualise what the hole timings are going to be like by using the timing contour tool. For more flexibility in the tie-up design, some sites use electronic detonators to give them finer control of the detonator initiation times. BlastLogic can also create electronic tie-ups. Complex timings, using operations like through-scene blasting, may require various horizontal layers, known as horizons, to have independent timings. We can define these layers with their own detonator timing rules. The upper horizon will time using a timing rose, while the lower horizon will use a timing line. Once the timing rose is added, its timing propagation rate can be adjusted. Individual holes can have their timings adjusted by an offset, or just set manually if finer control is required. Additional timing roses or lines can be added to this horizon as well if desired. Moving on to the lower horizon, where we'll use a timing line in this case. A timing line can have multiple segments and individual propagation rates. The effect of this timing line is easier to visualise with a contour map. As you can see, the timings are directed along this line, and thus the timing lines reflected in the contour map. The final step of the electronic tie-up is to determine the harness wire arrangement. This is done in a similar way to a connector of a pyrotechnic tie-up through using the hole-by-hole -hole digitization. Each of these harness wire runs are listed in the harness wire table, which is used when the data is exported to an electronic logging system like DetNet's DigiShot. After the holes are connected, the tie-up is complete. We can view an animation of what order the holes we blasted in by opening up the Animate Blast tool. We can also add propagation rings with various distance parameters to get a visual indication of the potential shockwaves that each of these detonations would cause. So you can see that BlastLogic offers tools to create both pyrotechnic and electronic tie-ups and gives the user visual feedback on the effectiveness of their design. 